When you first meet a person, they'll often ask, where are you from? Depending on the situation, you might have a different answer. A lot of times I'll probably say San Francisco, born and raised. We place a lot of emphasis on where we're from, but they're separated by the seemingly arbitrary line put in place by the government, determined by money, politics, and war. Today, I wanna share five artists whose work deals with maps, geography, and the boundaries of our environment. Mark Bradford is an American artist working in Los Angeles. He's known for his grid-like abstract works that combine painting and collage. Orbit, created in 2007, contains a magazine image of a basketball placed at the center of a dense lattice of black LA streets. It seems to be an aerial view where you can see the adding and subtracting, contouring, mutilating, and decaying of the streets to a point where the intricate streets no longer maintain structural integrity against unknown forces. Julie Marestu is an American artist working in New York. She's known for her large, densely layered abstract paintings and prints. They're built through layers of acrylic paint, pencil, pen, ink, and thick streams of paint. They often feature architectural elements, geographical schema, such as charts, buildings, plans, and city maps, and architectural renderings. She said about her work, I think of my abstract mark making as a type of sign lexicon, signifier or language for characters that hold identity and have social agency. These characters in my maps plotted, journeyed, evolved, and built civilizations. I charted, analyzed, and mapped their experience and development, their cities, their suburbs, their conflicts, and their wars. By combining many types of architectural plans and drawings, I tried to create a metaphoric, tectonic view of structural history. I wanted to bring my drawing into time and place. Alighiero Boetti was an Italian conceptual artist. He's known for a series of embroidered maps of the world, MAPPA, created from 1971 till his death in 1994. Boetti commissioned women at an embroidery school in Kabul to embroider a large, colorful world map where each country features the design of its national flag. He originally intended to only make one, but went on to commission roughly 150 during his lifetime, with no two possessing the exact same dimensions. His maps reflect the changing geopolitical world from 1971 to 1994, a period that included the collapse of the Soviet Union and the fall of the Berlin Wall. Embroidered by up to 500 artisans in Afghanistan and Pakistan, the maps were a result of a collaborative process, leaving the design to the geopolitical realities of the time and the choice of colors to the artisans responsible for the embroidery. When the embroiderers ran short of a particular colored thread, they would substitute another color. Oceans came out yellow or red instead of blue. The borders contained dates or details about the work's production, Boeti's signature and sayings, as well as excerpts of Sufi poetry. Baki So was a contemporary Korean artist who created Wide World Wide in 2003. The title, as you can probably guess, is a play on World Wide Web. It's a text-based map of the world that contains the names of 184 unfrequented locations around the world in Korean placed in relation to their geographic location. Over the Korean are the Romanized names that are pinned floating above it. The work points out how truth can be easily manipulated. These places on the map exist, but not in the consciousness of mainstream society. Even with the immense amount of knowledge on the internet, there's still a limit to it. Places that remain unknown, fragmented, superficial, and out of focus. By reading the names on the map, we bring them into existence in our minds. Zarina Hashmi is an Indian artist who works primarily with paper. Her work explores the idea of home, whether it is personal, geographical, national, spiritual, or familial. A number of works deal with the complex relationship between India and Pakistan, two nations who share linguistic, cultural, geographic, and economic links, but are filled with historical and political tensions since they underwent a violent partition in 1947. Letters from home are prints based on letters from her sister, who lives in Pakistan. Handwritten Urdu is overlaid with maps and blueprints of homes and places. 
an atlas my mind for the border between India and Pakistan is represented by a thick, long, jagged black line. In dividing line, that thick black line has overtaken the entire print. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to learn more, head on over to my website, littlearttalks.com, to find a blog post more about these artists. If you enjoyed this format and you want to see more like it, I'll leave a playlist link down below and they'll have all my previous 5 artists in 5 minutes videos. As always, thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you guys next time. Baki So was a contemporary- Why is there so many planes? <laughs>